I read this flyer of that place that I went into that was really random, and there was a haircutting place and, um, stairs. I went in there, and, um, I mean, I, I read the pamphlet, and it turns out to be this place called The Forest. Um, it's this non-profit place that is funded by a vegetarian cafe and a, um drinks and stuff like that it's funded by that and they basically have a space for you to do whatever you want <laughs> um for you to create art for you to um have opportunities to play music they they fund recordings they record cds for people and sell them they make um zines and poetry pamphlets for local people and sell them um they have a spot they have so many places for you to display your art they have so much stuff like they have like a most amazing stuff that you can be in there forever and it's like i spy um they have a free store where people just can come and leave stuff and people can just take it it's free um if it's just giving <laughs> and if you don't need it why have it and people take it and it's crazy and they have a dark room um that's free for people to use they have a craft room for people who ever just want to use it to be crafty and do stuff it's like a studio for people to do that um they have a stage and they have music all the time of whoever wants to play um i was there that night and um, I ended up leaving pretty early that night, but I was sitting in the corner just drinking tea and reading this random story that um, I found. And it's just for like people that like to write short stories or whatever, and they have this store. Well, there's a girl in the store, her name's Magda. Mag- 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 Magda. She's great. She was so cute. She had like red little skinny dreadlocks. She cut my hair. My hair- her, her whole thing is, um haircutting and vodka so like she gives you um it's like a haircut in the vodka and a shot of vodka is what she does it was so fun um she was really nice and we talked for a long time the next day um but they have this store where she is and she does her haircutting and then also there's a space for people to sell whatever they want like if you make things this is perfect for me because i like to make stuff some people don't get it some people think it's weird but i like to make stuff and like I, the guy, um, like I could sell my headbands there. I like making headbands, and he, they just let you sell whatever. They sell the books, they sell the CDs, they sell whatever. It's just a space for you to do what what you want, and um, it's all volunteer run. Everybody that works there, except there's like two people that manage, but like the rest are volunteers and the guy I was talking to they've had like thousands of volunteers come through because people they just want to be a part of it I want to be a part of it I want to start something like this um I want to be a part of someone who starts something like this and I really felt like a tug on my heart that this is needed so much in our culture and in our towns something like this where people can just come and hang out and do what they want they have free internet for the community it's a community center basically for supporting people in whatever they want to do um it was really great anyway so i went there and i was really inspired that night so i went home and the next day i got up at 10 in the morning and headed over there and i was there from like 10 30 11 till three o'clock i was interviewing taking pictures i was going to do a project i did a project for my photojournalism class on them um, I talked and hung out with their customers. I met a lot of people, a lot of cool people, and um, it's just a completely different lifestyle here. I went back there. I stayed there for like the entire day. I had talked to um, one of the guys that's been there for like since the beginning, and his name's Ryan. He was really great. Um, we talked for a while just about life and stuff. And I met another guy named Andy, he was this old guy, he was a teacher of um, herbal medicine and spirituality and, you know, like, everything. And he taught me a lot of stuff, um, 
we just talked about. Then I met a bunch of I met a lot of other customers and a lot of the people that work there and um, it's just a great organization and it's a great just thing. I mean, I don't even know if called an organization. It's a great community. It's a great community of people that come together and do whatever they want. When I was sitting in there, <laughs> I just do the most random stuff that I love. Like I was sitting in there and writing just kind of about what was going on and um, all of a sudden this guy, Adam, um, yells out, people of the forest, in today's culture we have lost our way of communicating through letters. Everything is turned to emailing and blah 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 blah, but physically writing a letter has been lost and we here of the forest want to, want to bring, um, want to get rid of that, um, we want to get rid of whatever that being lost so the forest is providing paper and pens and stamps and envelopes for you to write letters to the people that you've been waiting to tell stuff to forever um so they had a, a letter writing club <laughs> so tight and there's a guy like typing on his typewriter just writing letters totally like a hipster joint but like anyone can go there like all different ages go there all different kinds of people go there and um, this one guy I was talking to, he said, I've, I've been coming here for like two years, and I was sitting in here one time, and these guys come in, and they're like, who wants to go chalking? And so they went throughout the whole city chalking. Tight. So tight. So I've been just gotten so many ideas and so many, um, I don't know, I'm just so inspired by the support that was here. And um, it was really neat. They have, like, you can... They provide paint for you to paint on the walls. Um, they have film nights. They show people's films. They show other films. They have everything. Like, everything that I, I love doing at home with my friends. It's just like a collaboration of of it. It's great. I don't know. I feel like um, God just kind of like put something on my heart to either make this a message for someone to, to use. Um... Or to me myself start something like this. Because if it touched me so much, I mean, imagine like the communities it can bring together. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. My trip to Scotland was great. It was really great. I loved every minute of it. I met some Spanish girls in my second hostel that were so sweet. Um, oh, it was just, it was a really great, really great time. Um, I must go back. I must back to Scotland and Ireland especially really enjoyed it there all right guys um it was nice it was very long very long very long and not brief at all I have a class in a little bit and I have to present my project on the forest because it was an insanely amazing place I don't know I just have a really big passion for community and support like that all right everybody I will see you later Ciao.